Welcome to this tutorial video. In today's tutorial video, we're going to be discussing about how to manage dimension styles in your drawing. Now, quickly, if you look at this drawing, this is an architectural drawing. I have a floor, which is a ground floor plan, and also a first floor plan and the second floor. So this is a two-story building. So I can see some classrooms here. So this is a classroom. Uh, building that I'm doing looks like an L shape building. So I'm going to create a dimension style for it So there are many dimensions. So uh, I've been doing so I'm going to go to format I'm going to go to Dimension styles. So this is the current dimension style that is in the drawing that is being highlighted now These are various dimension styles in this particular drawing because I did this drawing in Archicad so there are several drawing styles that have been imported into this particular uh, drawing this particular autocad that we are going to be to to use now uh, you can either modify or you can create a new set of drawing now the the whole essence of this is to make you understand how to manage uh, dimension style so i'm going to use two separate dimensions or multiple types of dimension on this particular uh, structure that we have uh, done this particular architectural plan that we have done I'm going to use two for this I'm going to use two or more for that so what I'm going to use I'm going to use standard so I have standard so I'm going to go to modify standard so I'm going to check if all is fine so all is well I think uh, I like it like that text height so fitness so i think all is fine so i'm going to go to standard to be able to modify the text like this box here has a three dot that means there's a dialog box waiting for me so i'm going to click on it it pops up so it is standard so i'm going to say the text do i like the text i'm going to leave it like that so that just for this one's sake so i'm going to raise my text height height i'm going to lift it higher so i'm going to say 180 180 so i'm going to do 180 so i'm going to say apply then close so it becomes bigger so i'm going to go to my precision i'm going to go to my primary units i'm going to go to decimal i don't want any decent so it's just going to be millimeters so i'm going to say that's nice so that's cool so that's okay for this so the arrow size are a little bit smaller so i'm going to go to back to dimensions i increase my arrow size so i'm going to say arrow size to be 50 it should be 50 so I'm going to say okay so you can still go higher increase your error size uh, let me go back so I'm going to say let it be um, let, let's make let's make it 80 so I'm going to make it 80 so I'm going to say okay so I think it's better now now the whole essence for this for you to be able to use this dimension style you have to set it current so you set current say close so I'm going to go to my uh, linear dimension so i'm going to do my linear dimension so i'm going to click on it so you can see my linear dimension it becomes this this is my text style on it so i'm going to do some more for this particular standard dimension so i'm going to do some more i'm going to make some more so you can see how it's coming out to be so i'm going to make some more i'm going to make some more some more and also try to make some more so that you can see order so i'm going to make some more and end it here and right click and press enter to finish this particular command and on my keyboard i press escape to end this particular command now i have this to be standard per se this is now standard now i'm going to click escape for this particular type of drawing now if i go to format and I go to dimension style so standard is highlighted but I don't want to use standard again so I'm going to show you also where you can get this dialog box so I'm going to click close you can come to standard here come to this arrow standard so this so this dimension style so I'm going to click standard now I want to use maybe uh, PB standard so I'm going to use PB standard for this uh, mm, let me just use this style the J CD 180 standard so you can still go back modify it you can still just go back 
let me go back to my text height so I'm gonna see my text height is okay but I'm gonna say let's make it to 230 230 my primary units can I check it it's good my primary unit is good primary unit is good so I'm going to go to this click on this I'm going to say okay 230 230 I like 230 make it 230 okay I'm using this Camstasia so it's fine I like it like that so I'm going to say okay click then you're going to say apply then you click close you can see it's bigger so you're going to say okay now you're going to come to this highlight it then set it current then you said close now that particular jcd look at it here is current so i'm going to click on this my particular dimension so i'm going to say this i'm going to make some more good so i'm going to go to continuous dimension so i'm going to make some more so let me just space them out for this tutorial sake so that you can see the values so I'm going to make some more, mix, click, then make some more. There's a window. So I'm going to click this particular wall here. So I'm going to click this window. This one is bigger. So I'm going to click this. So I'm going to dimension this window and also this part of the wall. Now, if you don't want to right click on your keyboard, just press enter, enter twice. So it goes up. Now, if you see this, Let's compare these and these. The fonts are different. So this, if I click on it, you see the style is dimension. The text style is standard. So, but if I come to click on this, the style is JC and the text style is this. So you can see two different dimension style on one particular drawing, and they are still not conflicting. So that is how to manage a particular dimensions on your your drawing now you can still go over to create your own drawing your own dimension style so in our previous video we, we created our own dimensions that please go to our previous video check on how to create your own dimension style on uh, this youtube channel and you follow the video suit and you can create your own dimension style. so that is that you can also set this to be current when you set this to be current i'm going to show you set this to be current so i'm going to say current without modifying or doing anything i'm going to say close and i'm going to go to over to my linear dimension so i'm going to say this is my staircase i'm going to dimension my staircase there's a column here so there's a column here sorry this is it so you can see this is white is a colored is a colored so you can see the difference so this is white so this is a color so we can also go back let's just let's make some more so that we can also be clear concerning this this is a staircase also so that is it for this i'm going to just end this command i'm going to end this command press enter and also right click to finish this command so this is white this is colored you can change the colors if you want if you wish to just maybe add colors to dimensions you can just come to this point modify you can just maybe do some few things that you can just explore you know this is a color section your line can be your line can be red uh, per se yeah and um, you can just make your text to be maybe uh, as you can see my text should be magentine so i can just make it to be that and um, Mm, just just few things you can just play around with it so i can say okay i set it current and you see you can see it has become current now all these drawings all these dimension styles are there but they are not conflicting so this is it guys on how to manage your autocad dimension style effectively without each of them getting on each other so this is it guys please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of our videos coming up.